Good morning and shalom to everyone. Hope you all are doing well uh, during this pandemic time also. Uh, God is faithful and God is taking care of all of us. Uh, today we are going to see what passage uh, Cynthia read today is Mark chapter 1 21 to 28 and also mark chapter 1 14 and 15 verses uh, this passage is talked about who is real jesus who he is why he came in this world and it's give us he is the real king he is the real god and he came to give us life, life in abundance. And Mark is giving an account of Jesus' ministry. And his purpose, writing this gospel, to show us what is essential if we are to accept Jesus Christ, the Son of God, as the new king, as Messiah and Jesus must break the bondage that Satan holds over the soul and spirit of sinners so Mark is focusing who is Jesus and why he came in this world so he started this first chapter and starting with this verse that he's saying that Jesus is proclaiming the good news of God. The good news is not only word but also power to change people's life. And that's why his focus is more that power of Jesus. The people the, did not know who he was. The Pharisee didn't know who he was. But Satan knew who Jesus is or who Jesus was. Here is the first testimony in this Gospel of Mark that is identity of Jesus came from Satan. Satan recognized Jesus, real Jesus, his power. Demons reveals Jesus' identity saying, I know who you are, the Holy One of God. What a powerful testimony. And this testimony came from demons. People were amazed. Uh, uh, chapter 1, verse 14. After John was put in prison, Jesus went to, into Galilee, proclaiming the good news of God. The time has come, he said. The kingdom of God has come near. Repent and believe the good news. The first message was repent and believe good news what is good news good news is about kingdom of god good news is about salvation good news is all about eternal life and that's why real jesus proclaiming the kingdom of god not in just word but it in, is in power here we see demon are sure about real Jesus and who he is they know his power they know his identity but not the teachers of law not the Pharisees not the scholar of laws they were amazed they said who he is they amazed 
about his teaching. They amazed when they saw his power delivering people from demon. They were amazed and they didn't know who he is. Visible world don't know about real Jesus, but the invisible world know the real Jesus. I would like to repeat it again. Visible world don't know about real Jesus, but the invisible world know the real Jesus. People were amazed by two things about Jesus, his teaching and his authority on demons. He was teaching them with authority and he's casting out demon with authority. The real Jesus has authority over every spirit, all spirit. His power is all about the power. The good news is to heal people and set them free from all the bondage. And that's what Jesus was doing. And Mark was writing about Jesus, who he is. It's like physical, spiritual and mental healing and freedom. That's why Jesus bought that in this world. That is the kingdom of God. And he, he shows his power, who he is, and demons recognize him. When they recognize him, they started screaming. Why they started screaming? Because they are standing in front of the Holy One, and unholiness cannot stand in front of the holiness. And that's why they started screaming. That's why they, they started um, uh, declaring who is Jesus, who is real Jesus. And their power is so weak to stand in front of the power of Jesus, power of Holy One. And that's why they are so scared. They know who he is, but the people don't know who he is. So today, I have seen the same power. I have seen that in the name of Jesus, people got healed, getting healed. I have seen in the name of Jesus, demon flees away. Demon screamed. And that is the real Jesus and his real power working till today. Bible say the spirit who raised Jesus from the dead lives in us. The day we accept Jesus, the day we started following Jesus, the same spirit who raised Jesus from the dead lives in us. And when we pray for the people, when we pray for their uh, healing, they get healed. The same power lives in us. Not less. The people were amazed. And today we see people were get amazed when in the name of Jesus, people get freedom. All the bondage become losing their power and people set free in the name of Jesus. And that is the real Jesus. And he gave us power. Matthew 28, chapter 28, was 19, 18 to 20. It say, all power has given to me. Therefore, go into the world and preach the good news. That same good news Jesus was proclaiming when he was on this earth. That power he has given to us to set people free from all the bondage. Jesus loves us and he wants all of us to free, free from the physical illness, 
free from the mental illness, free from every power of darkness. And that's why Jesus came down. So here is the two kingdom, kingdom of God and kingdom of Satan. When the kingdom of Satan sees the power of God, the power of God's kingdom, they cannot stand front of power of God or kingdom of God. And here we see when they, the demons saw Jesus, they started screaming. But what happened finally? The demon came out from that person. All the demons, one or maybe many, they came out from that person. What they say? When they saw Jesus, what the demons say? What do you want with us? Jesus of Nazareth. Verse 24. Mark chapter 1, verse 24. What do you want with us? Jesus of Nazareth. Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. Jesus came to destroy the power of darkness. He loves us and he wants to set us free from every bondage. Are we ready? And not only that, but when he set us free, he gave us his power so we can set us other people free those who are under the power of darkness. May God bless us. And in this new year, 2021, we can walk with him. We can have his power and we can destroy the power of darkness. God has chosen us and he blessed us. Why he chosen and blessed us? So we can go and declare his power, his love and his freedom to the people, those who are living under the power of Satan, under the power of demon. These two power are real. Real Jesus is there. His power is there. Real Satan is there and his power is there. But the power of Jesus is the higher power than the Satan's. And that's why when invisible Satan saw Jesus, they started screaming. They started stumbling. They scared. And where this demon was? They were they was in the synagogue. So there we, we cannot we cannot say oh, the demon are there only or there. They can anywhere. But when we have the power of Jesus, that power makes people free from every bondage. Are we ready to take that power? Because Jesus died for us. And what the words 28 say, Mark chapter 1, verse 28. His news about him spread quickly over the whole region of Galilee. Of Galilee. Why? Because this thing happened. The two things people saw in him. The way he was teaching and the way he was using his power over demon. That people saw the real Jesus and his real power and they were amazed. One People were amazed, but the demon were scared. People don't know who he was, but the demon know who he is. How we know real Jesus today? If we don't know, this is the time to give our life to him. God, have your ways in our life. Lord, set us free in the name of Jesus. Lord, have your ways in our life. Have your ways in our church life. Have your ways in our um, um, neighborhood, O oh Lord God. Have your ways in our family, O oh Lord God. And let your kingdom come in your, our life, O oh Lord. 
and Lord set us free set the people free O oh Lord God and use us Lord to set people free in the name of Jesus that's why God has called us may God bless you he loves us thank you for listening God bless you and use you mighty way in the name of Jesus thank you for listening